Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, October 19th, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. We had a, another crappy day today. Stocks are extremely unpredictable and volatile. It's what you would expect two weeks before the election with, you know, a lot of news that keeps bombarding us and this has effects on market movement. If there's a temptation just to want to stand back from it and not trade until the election is over, but um, I uh, have never done that. I believe that the volatility and unpredictability of stocks also uh, can give us um, opportunities to make a lot of money and so I just stick just go in there and stick with it but um, today was not profitable we had you know Friday was a really bad day and we closed out with about a negative eleven thousand dollars or so in open trade equity and that's what we came in with today. You can see here the Dow actually um, moved higher right at the, you know, for the first 30 minutes or so, it was positive. And shortly after the open, it looked like we were going to, you know, our, our that 11,000 equity went almost to neutral. So it looked like, it looked real good, like we were going to, save ourselves some money here and then you can see here look at this third bar it just plunged and of course it's at the end of that bar you know that we're getting out of stuff and uh as a result rather than getting out to break even or anything close to it our negative 11,000 from Friday went to negative f over 15,000 in terms of, us, of our getting out. So we, it was just, you know, we, we basically saw a uh, $14,000, $15,000 swing here in the first 45 minutes of the day, and that was against us. Not a great way to start the day. And then you can see here what happened. The Dow just kept sinking and sinking and sinking and then really fell apart the last 90 minutes of the day. Dow closes down 400 in 11 points. Um, I'll show you a couple of stocks in a second here, but we got into 13 positions. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. We get into 13 positions with the Dow falling like this. But actually, uh, five of those 13 positions are actually short positions on the market. And I'll show you and explain that in a second. So, but out of those 13 positions, seven were positive, six were negative, And we're positive just over, over $2,000 on the close so I don't know quite what to make of it uh, except I, I, I will say that we'll make money tomorrow with the market if stocks go down okay uh, if this movement in the Dow reverses itself tomorrow and goes positive we're gonna lose more money that's just the way it is we're basically we're more short than we are long in uh, those 13 positions so uh, I think I covered everything in general statistics here let's look at three of the stocks I'll show you the one long stock that did pretty good this is MGI which is MoneyGram International Incorporated. And we got into this right at the beginning of the day. It kept moving. It was 
you know it was up close to six thousand dollars up here at the very top it pulled back some toward the end on that plunge in the Dow but it's still compared to our other long positions it's held up pretty good and we're holding positive four thousand two hundred dollars in MoneyGram International Incorporated and then um, the other significant position here this is UVXY which is pro shares uh, this is a this is short position on uh, the stock market so this is going to go up is the Dow's going down and that's exactly what happened today and we bought it right here and we don't buy just one position we buy three positions so we're loaded up on the short side um, with UVXY and we got into this about 90 minutes before the uh, market closed. And when we closed on the, the total on those three positions is $5,100 that we're holding positive. So, yeah, we don't want the Dow reversing tomorrow because we could lose. This is, you know, this is our biggest position and we want to take profits in it tomorrow. So anyway, a, a crazy hair pulling, insane day. Uh, that's the way trading goes. Trader Bob signing off. See you tomorrow on Tuesday.